The James Webb Space Telescope is solving mysteries in our solar system, looking beyond to distant worlds around other stars, probing the mysterious structures and origins of our universe and our place in it. And the world's premier space science observatory has made a remarkable discovery from a distance of 40 light years away. A hellish super-Earth, 55 Cancrii, has been transmitting strange transit signals. What is the source of these signals? Who is sending them? And what do they even mean? Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. For over two decades, astronomers detected unusual fluctuating signals from the first super-Earth discovered, and scientists may have finally figured out why. Found in 2004, about 40 light years away from Earth, 55 Cancrii is a rocky world about eight times as massive as our planet. A recent study reveals that volcanoes on this hellish globe occasionally erupt and spew hot gas that creates an atmosphere, only for it to burn out and leave the planet bare. Training the James Webb Space Telescope on the unusual exoplanet will put that notion to the test. At less than 2% of the distance between Earth and the Sun, the planet is so near to its parent star that it completes an orbit in just 17 hours. This creates some fairly unusual weather patterns on the planet that have eluded scientific understanding. The nature of the planet's transit signal is perhaps the most perplexing part. This is the light seen from Earth, when 55 Cancrii travels over the face of its parent star, causing a minor eclipse as well as the light seen when the planet passes behind its star. But sometimes, no visible light comes from the planet while orbiting its star, while at other instances, there is a strong visible light signal. Whereas in the infrared, the signal is constant but varying in terms of strength. According to observations of that infrared light made by the Spitzer Space Telescope, the planet's day side reaches extreme heat levels of more than 4,400 degrees Fahrenheit, while the night side only reaches temperatures of about 2,060 Fahrenheit. It has been hypothesized that because of the planet's closeness to its star, it is outgassing, which means that massive volcanoes and thermal vents spring up, blasting hot carbon-rich components into the atmosphere. Due to the tremendous heat, the planet's atmosphere cannot be retained for long, and the gas is ultimately blasted away, leaving the planet bare until the outgassing process begins again. Unlike most of other planets, the atmosphere of 55 Cancrii is unstable. The outgassing process attempts to thicken the atmosphere, but the star's intense radiation and solar winds sweep it away. However, these two processes are out of balance, resulting in a scenario in which the planet has an atmosphere at times and does not at others. Researchers think that the unusual transit signals might be explained by this imbalance in the planetary atmosphere. There is no visible light coming from the planet's atmosphere when it is in its bald phase, because there is none, but the planet's heated surface continues to radiate infrared radiation both visible light and all surface radiation are visible in the transit signal as the atmosphere expands. Although this is simply a theory, JWST provides a means of testing it. Scientists could ascertain if an atmosphere is constantly there by monitoring the pressure and temperature of the planet's atmosphere. The James Webb Space Telescope will continue to wow us with such breakthrough findings. This breakthrough will serve as a link between us and the unknown. With each discovery, we get closer to unraveling the universe's biggest mysteries. What next discovery are you expecting from the Super Telescope? Tell us in the comments below. And to stay updated on such discoveries, make sure to subscribe to the channel Lab360, because together, we will explore